is Jenny Jen, the plant friend. I know that it has been a couple minutes since I've been on. Um, many of you know from the video that I shared that I lost um, the love of my life. My husband passed away a couple weeks ago. So I've had a bit of a traumatic experience and needed a little time to kind of take care of some things. His home going service was on yesterday and so um, I am going to begin to put out some more content but I just needed a minute to catch my breath and everything. Um, I thank you guys so much for all the well wishes, kind words, thoughtful prayers and everything that you sent my way. I really appreciate you guys for that. So I'm going to put up a quick video today and then I'll continue to do content um, leading up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So today's video is just going to be some plant chores, some up pottings. Um, I was gone for about three days and I came back to a, a house full of really thirsty plants. Um, I did have a friend come by, but um, uh, it's nothing like taking care of your own. So um, I have several plants that I'm going to be up potting and then I will, um, uh, you know, I'll show you guys in a minute. Now I will be doing a voiceover because apparently my sound went out at some point and I wasn't aware of it. So I will be doing some voiceover for most of the video and everything. So thanks for your patience with that. And so let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be doing just a few up potting. I'm going to start with this um, Gloriosum. This is actually the mother plant. Um, I'm going to put some gloves on really quickly. And um, Okay, so this plant has been struggling a little bit. I put it in soil, but I think the pot is actually too big. So I'm just going to up pot it. So um, I'm just going to take it out of the pot here. see how the roots are kind of crawling alongside um, just making sure there's no root rot and I'm gonna make put it in a smaller pot and I'm actually gonna lose use this clear orchid pot um, this, the soil is okay so I'll reuse the same soil I put it in terracotta but I'm not real sure about the terracotta it seemed to have stifled the gross growth so I want to put it back in um, plastic and see if I can see what's going on with it now this is the mother plant or the original plant but I do have a huge um, gloriosum I'll try and put a picture on the screen of the propagation that outgrew the mother plant okay that's pretty good hopefully she'll start to do better in this pot I'll give her a good watering and I'll keep you guys posted on this one. So the next plant, it's in pond, and I have this self-watering planter here that I want to put it in. Um, probably gonna get some more. Leca to put in the bottom of it. So 
So now I just have to take it out of this pot here. As you can see, the roots are coming out of the bottom. Wow, look at those roots. Nice. I hope I can get these out without breaking any of them. Okay, well, just wanted to get something to put the pond in here. There we go. dump the pond out here. I really want to try not to break any of these roots. My Syngonium Chia Pents here. And gently get these roots out. They're stuck. There we go. They're coming. We'll probably lose a few, but I don't want to lose a whole lot. Let's untangle this bit. There we go. All the way out. Okay, well we were able to get those out. Now I need to get this wick off. Put it in the new pot with this wick. Okay, almost got it out. So I'm going to put a moss pole in this, give this guy a little more support. Okay, there we go. Just want to position her. I was getting a call, but I'm not going to get that right now. Use some plant velcro. Okay. So 
So I'm just going to backfill it with the um, original pond. the way around, make sure it's good and secured. So I'm just going to get the plant velcro and secure this um, to the moss pole a little bit better here. Just don't want to squeeze any of the new growth here. Okay, so we are going to finish securing this. She looks pretty good in her new pot. Looks good. I like it. I like the moss pole and everything. Good. Very nice. Okay, so let's go to the next plant. Let's see here. The next plant is my, I'm not sure the name of this one, but I will put it on the screen. And it is one that my husband bought me, so I really want this guy to survive. Um, but it's growing in perlite. So let me take the perlite off. Okay, so we got all the perlite off. Now I'm just going to soak this guy in water before I move on. Um, I'll get back to it in a minute. Um, it's checking for root rot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, uh, up pot this other propagation that I have while I let that soak a little bit to get most of the perlite off. This is my Hoya Australis cutting. Um, that I propagated uh, about a month ago. I'm propagating these for my sister. And um, I think I'm going to put her in pond. Um, or maybe I'll put her in Lekka. Okay. So, yeah, I'll put this guy in Lekka. So I'm just going to... Get 
fill the pot here and just put my propagations in there. Now there's some wet sticks in here that I'm going to kind of do a separate pot up uh, pot for those. Um, I have a new girlfriend that's collect, well, a girlfriend that's newly to new to collecting plants, so we're going to give her these and see what she can do with them. Let me just backfill this with Lekka. All right. Now these are the wet sticks. Some of them need to be cut down. So just cutting a few of these down. And I'm just gonna put them in water for her. Okay, looks good. Okay, let me water this one really quickly and then we're gonna get ready for our next plant. So the next plant is my Alocasia stingray. And this plant um, has been doing very nicely in this jar um, that I have it in, but it's so root bound. I feel like I'm stifling the growth, so I wanna take her out. Um, whoa, it's hard to get out. coming okay nice root system So we're going to put this trellis here to try to help support her because she's kind of wiry. Okay, just backfill her and then I'm just going to put her in the pot there. Okay, well, um, my camera died, so I had to take a break and get it charged up. But I wanted to show you guys that I did pot up that plant, the one that... Uh, I had soaking in perlite and here she is. Okay, well thank you so much for watching that video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to putting out more content, so please do like, subscribe, comment at the bottom. Um, and uh, again, I appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.